Hey, 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 everyone, what's going on? What is going on? It is Nurse Nisha in North Carolina. How are y'all this evening? What is going on with everybody? How are you this evening? I hope y'all had a wonderful work week. I hope everybody had a great work week. All right, guys, so let me ask y'all a question. Have y'all, have you been paying attention to, you know, to everything what exactly is cbd what is cbd and can we trust this it's popping up everywhere this stuff is popping up everywhere so my question to you is can we really trust cbd all right guys so also um if you would like to if you're um serious about your health and wellness and if you want to learn more tips and information about what you can do to get to a healthier you please make sure you inbox me and i'll get you some tips on what we can do to get you a healthier you okay all right guys so what is up with cbd it is everywhere it's popping up everywhere can we trust this can we really trust cbd all right guys so let me tell you what is cbd let's talk a little bit about cbd what is cbd cbd stands for cannabinoid oil all right that's the second most prevalent of active ingredients in cannabis aka marijuana all right while cbd itself does not cause a high so get that straight and remember the cbd itself does not cause a high and marijuana thc is what causes the high cbd itself does not cause the high all right so what are the health benefits of cbd because cbd is popping up everywhere y'all drug stores freaking gas stations man like it's everywhere soon it's gonna be in walmart and little gummies like it's all over the place so what are the health benefits of cbd um so one of them it would um cbd is known for easing symptoms of anxiety depression acne okay numerous studies have said that cbd decreases the number of seizures in some cases in some cases it was able to completely stop seizures all right and that's absolutely amazing um <clears throat> Y'all, I'm reading from my notes because, you know, I'm a nurse and I like to research stuff. So it, you got to bear with me because I'm reading from my notes. All right. CBD may also help with falling asleep and staying asleep. OK, so CBD can also be known to help with that. All right. CBD applied to applied on the skin can help lower pain and inflammation caused by arthritis. Arthritis is aka also known as joint inflammation all right and inflammation caused by joint inflammation caused by pain and stiffness um cbd inhibits inflammatory and neuro neuropathic pain two of the most difficult types of pain to treat did you know that neuropathic pain and in, inflammation is two of the most difficult types of pain to treat so also, before I continue with this content, if you are serious about your health, wellness and weight loss, be sure to inbox me and I will get you some tips on what you can use for weight loss, tips on what you can use for your health and wellness. OK. All right. Now, most important, the question of it all, right? is cbd safe that is one of the most important questions is cbd safe all right so i'm telling you this as a nurse okay certain products you have to be careful when you take with certain medications i'm going to give you an example if you are taking the blood thinner warfarin or coumadin if you're taking Coumadin as a blood thinner, you have to be careful when taking CBD. If you decide to take a CBD product, because it can increase the level of Coumadin in your blood. It, in, it can increase the drug level of Coumadin, the drug level Coumadin being the drug in your blood. All right. Which can affect your 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 levels when they get red. Okay. Especially if you prick your finger and you have to get the PT INRs that can affect that. 
So y'all, you have to be very careful. Always, always, always let your physician know, your primary care provider, if you are taking any kind of herbs, okay, um, along with medications, because some things really just don't go together. All right. All right. Also, CB, um, CBD can also raise levels of certain other meds in your blood the same way that grapefruit juice does. OK, so if you are currently taking statins, which would be cholesterol lowering drugs. All right. Lovastatin, um, simvastatin, which is Zoc- um, lovastatin is Mevacor, simvastatin is Zocor, uh, at- atorvastatin. Statin statin is Lipitor. If you are taking any kind of cholesterol lowering drugs, you have to be cautious when taking, um, just like you, you shouldn't be drinking grapefruit juice while taking these drugs. Um, you have to be cautious if you take CBD because it can increase the drug, that same drug level in your body. All right. Um, the same thing with antihistamines like Allegra and calcium channel blockers. All right. Um, also, and most importantly, any kind of psych medications. So, um, any kind of psych meds, Valium, um, Boost Bar, Tegretol, Zoloft, Versed, any of those psych medications, you have to be careful. Now, if we know, now this is me, you know, just being real and just telling you this. If you know, if we know that CBD has the potential, we know, okay, Basically, what I'm saying is, all right, if C- CBD has the potential to interact with SSRIs and other antidepressants, um, resulting in the amounts of, of antidepressant increasing in your blood, in your blood, um, your bloodstream. All right. If you know anybody that take antidepressants or you know anything about antidepressants, the side effects of antidepressants would be what? Suicidal thoughts. Um, one of them, suicidal thoughts, further depression. Um, further anxiety, stuff like that. Now, I'm just being real with you. If you know that antidepressants cause these things, why would you not saying why, but if, if CBD is a natural product and it's a natural product that can help with anxiety, depression, right? It can help you with getting um, rest. It can help with pain. And then you choose to take those kind of medications. I'm not telling you not to, but I'm just saying this, um, person to person and also as a nurse, I probably would not be continue to take something that is going to cause me those kind of side effects, if that makes sense. All right. I'm going to give you all a perfect example. I will give you, I'll give you my example. And when I, after I had my second son, I was, di- um, I was borderline, uh, diagnosed with, um, postpartum depression. The doctor, he told me, he said, look, you're borderline. What do you want to do about it? He said, do you want me to give you some medication or are you going to work it out yourself? I told him, I said, I'm going to work it out myself. I started taking CBD oil and that cut it out. I was, I, I, I didn't meet cause me being a nurse, I know the side effects of antidepressant medications. And plus I wanted to continue to breastfeed. So I wasn't gonna, I didn't want to take them. So, but that's just, that's just my take on it. That's my own personal story. But, um, I I just want you to know that is CBD real. What is the buzz about CBD? That's the buzz It's it's popping up everywhere. You just want to be careful about where you're getting it from. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. If CBD pops up in family dollar, dollar general, dollar tree, I would not take that because that has got, that will more than likely be the most minute amount of CBD. If it has any of it in there. Okay. But if you want some more tips or tips or information about, um, health and wellness about your health and wellness or weight loss, I want y'all to inbox me and let me know. And we can definitely talk about this. Okay. But that is my time for tonight. Talking about what is CBD? What's this CBD going on? What is all this? Okay. All right. And Inbox me, let me know. We can have a nice chit chat, all right, about your health, your wellness. If you're serious about your health, wellness, and weight loss, inbox me, all right? All right, guys, so talk to y'all later. I hope this information was 
Um, I hope this information was valuable to you. And if you have any questions, drop a comment. Um, also, let me know where you're watching from. Definitely, everybody that's um, currently on this live, let me know where you're watching from. If you have any more questions or concerns, drop a comment or send me an inbox, okay? All right, guys, so talk to y'all later. Good night.